What's up, everyone? My name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. I react to video game music. As a musician myself, today is the long awaited return for Dragon Ball Fighters. This is requested by Aiden and a uh, great <laughs> name, Random Hobo that you walked past. Thank you <laughs> for the request. This is the theme of Beerus. So, uh, really quick, I've done a couple of songs from Dragon Ball Fighters. I love this soundtrack, it's so good. I still don't know who composed it, by the way. Uh, and fun fact, even though I've never uh, known the Dragon Ball universe besides like the, the ones that everybody knows, like Goku, Vegeta, whatever, uh, I've always liked Beerus. I don't know anything about about them, but they, they're just like my favorite character despite not knowing anything about them. You know how you always like have a favorite that you gravitate towards before you even know what they are? According to the, um, the notes left that it's, he's the god of destruction, which is... Pretty, pretty crazy. <laughs> uh, I, I hope that his song is cool because I've always thought he was like the coolest looking character to me. I don't know why. Kind of a short song though. Anyways, this is the theme of Beerus. I don't think it has a name besides that. And this is from the channel Dragon Ball Ground Soundtracks. Let's go. Let's see what kind of music the God of Destruction has. Look at those piercing eyes, dude. Okay, yeah, that sounds kind of godly. Yeah, this is the most different song I've heard from this game so far. Sounds like a Souls-like song. <laughs> Almost sounds like a final boss. Okay, so the energy stays kind of like, like mid-level. But we do have a snare. Not what I was expecting, but it's still cool. You know, I'm conflicted here. That was sick, regardless. So, <laughs> so I don't know anything about uh, Dragon Ball. I'm sorry, I'm a total noob when it comes to it. I just know, like I said, like those characters that everybody knows. And up until five minutes ago, when the notes told me that this is a god of destruction, I didn't know there was like god-like characters. I don't, I don't know like the types of, uh, I guess, races. I don't know what you would call them. Um, I, I know there's like human type characters, right? And then there's like, you know, I, I just, I'm aware there's a different style of um, characters. Um, 
I don't know Beerus is like that big of a deal. And I'm assuming he's a bad guy. <laughs> but what's interesting about that, two things. One, does this game or the series of Dragon Ball, mind you, does it have like reoccurring light motifs? Like, is there a main theme that you hear sprinkled around? Or is there no like one theme that describes Dragon Ball? You know what I'm saying? The only uh, song I've heard from Dragon Ball before re the reaction videos was when someone commissioned me to do a guitar cover for the Super Saiyan 3 soundtrack. The one where Goku just screams for like three minutes straight. So I'm curious as to like, like for example, like is there any other instances where Beerus has a theme playing and does it sound like that? Or does it, you know what I'm saying? Like is, or is it just always different each time? Are they tied to anything? And second, uh, up until now, the soundtrack to me for Dragon Ball Fighters has always been like really thrashy and uh, really intense metal stuff, but also like groovy, you know, big elect electric guitar stuff. So this is the first time it's just been like purely orchestral and, you know, sounding evil. That's, that's not like pure evil, <laughs> like straight up. And the percussion came from like really you know, demonic t sounding snares, just kind of like building the tension. Tension is probably the best way I can describe that song. Very, um, like looming, you know, that type of thing. So that's what I mean. I said, uh, that's what I mean. I can't talk today. That's what I meant when I said, that's not what I expected beers theme to sound like. I was expecting maybe just like something more metal, I guess, but that's just because of what I've known so far from Dragon Ball fighters. Anywho, so now that I know <laughs> that he's the god of destruction, I'm starting to see some kind of, like I've been really staring at him since I know that now. You know, I'm seeing this kind of almost royalty type of look. He's got the gold choker and everything looks just kind of like, it, it makes more sense now, right? It makes more sense. And I don't know what he's supposed to be. I, I, what is it, like the, uh, the hairless cats? Is that what he's supposed to be? Or... Um, like a Sphinx type character. Either way, the whole song reminded me of uh, very much so, because I just heard Elden Ring the other day, but uh, it reminds me of FromSoft stuff. You know, <laughs> if, if you were to put that song somewhere in Bloodborne or something, I don't think anyone would bat an eye. Maybe that's just me. I have a very few experiences with both games. But I feel like you could put this in there and it would probably work. Only this song though, not the other Dragon Ball Fighter songs. But it's cool that um, it's, ni it's nice to connect the dots, right? I went years knowing about this character, but not knowing anything about him. I just was like, oh, that's the one I like the most. So it's really nice hearing, you know, something else about them that uh, somewhat fit the mold of Kind of what I thought. I don't know he was evil, but I assumed he was probably not good. He always looks pissed. And um, I know I'm curious, like what he's what he sounds like. Everyone has such like iconic voices in in Dragon Ball. So, oh, and since I'm sure Dragon Ball nerds like to nerd out, uh, when was he introduced? You know, I know there's there's Z, there's GT, and it, that's all I know actually. So let me know like at what point. Just let me know everything about Beerus. I want to know everything about Beerus. When did, when did he come about? Is he a big deal? Is he a constant threat? Is he just uh, small potatoes? Let me know. Is he related to Frieza at all? They're both purple. Anywho, that was sick. And uh, one more thing is that I really like that this soundtrack is more dynamic than I originally thought. It's not just, you know, thrashy metal. It's capable of making their characters sound like they do, I guess. So, really, really cool. Thank you to Random Hobo that uh, you walked past and ate in for the request. <laughs> it's a great name. Thank you to everyone that you see here. My patrons, I cannot be here without them, or my platinum members. Thanks to you for watching. My name is Jesse. Take it easy.